Um, I'm Shane Healy, I'm the distilling director for White Mackay. So yeah, so I joined White Mackay in October 2018. And yeah, but I've been coming to for Gordon since the year 2000, when I met my wife in uh, Edinburgh. So 2000 I was doing a, a master's in brewing distilling. And I had come from Guinness, so I knew brewing, but my goodness, well, in the world of distilling, I found it a whole new experience. And uh, yeah, so I traveled Scotland I came in 2001 to Denver Gordon and then yeah my wife introduced me to a really amazing guy called Joseph Zawinski and we Joe so we Joe took me to the distillery and uh, so yeah so he hadn't been back since he retired in 1988 so this is 2001 so 13 years after and he was uh, explaining to me about how the place started in 1961 and how it was so welcoming that it was a whole collection of people. It was uh, people from the uh, related uh, from the Polish army, from where Joseph came, and then it uh, connected to Ross County and then a pipe band, and then yeah, and all the people across uh, all of Ross and Cromarty. So yeah, so yeah, I find this place amazing. And 2018, I got the opportunity to join, and we've got these five amazing distilleries. So I've got here in the Gordon Reek and in front of us we've got casks casts from our Dalmore, we've got Fetcher Care and Tom Neville and Jura, as well as here the Grain Spirit from the distillery at St. Gordon. So yeah, so I'm honoured to be the distilling director in the 60th year, making this uh, amazing whiskey. And then yeah, and this is a celebration of Inver Gordon and uh, we're uh, still in this pandemic, so uh, March 2020 when we all came together, we talked about Inver Gordon Cares. And here we are in a sunny day, the sun is finally out in Inver Gordon. And here we are on the 23rd of July 2021 and celebrating 20, uh, 60 years of this amazing distillery, amazing people, amazing community. Sloan Jim for Gordon. Gordon is obviously a very important part of uh, our job as blenders. Um, all of the, most of the stock is kept here and we use it to make up in sort of assemblages of blends or even single malts, but it could be the single malts made up with different kinds of wood finishes um, and obviously it, it's all very much quality driven. What I find up here is um, Everybody up here is just kind of considerate, and I'm, I might get a wee bit emotional here, but I lost my husband eight years ago, and the support I got for the guys up here, it, it was out for a year, and the support I got for the guys up here, like, phoning me every day, just to, to you know, just to, 
and it and that I think that pulled us more together because you just realise that they are like their family. Because I mean the the the, the so even now like people really you know they really help you because like so for instance we've been locked down for what, 18 months and I live alone and uh, I mean there's people up here who phone me just for a wee chat because they know I'm in my own which is lovely I mean because people don't need to do that do you know they just get their own life but it's 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 just touching do you know that you actually and I don't think I think they actually they genuinely it's not just well we better do this So here we are at Inver Gordon Distillery, built a way back in 1961. And I came into the industry in 1966. So Inver Gordon was well underway by that time, but it really meant something to me. Why? Because I, of course, I used it in the blends. And then when I joined White Mackay in 1970, it became very much part of my blend culture. It always contributed to the blends. And quite often people say to me, green whiskey doesn't do anything far from the truth. What it does is bring in a loving union with a single malt and then it opens up and makes that a very delectable drink. And that's why when you think of the last 60 years, many of Invergordon grain whiskies have gone into many blends all around the world. So although you don't maybe see the name Invergordon, it's contributed to great blends. Why is that? because of the people here. I'm talking about the men and women of Inver Gordon who relentlessly produce a really delectable spirit every year. So 60 years, here's to the next 60 years. Slanjiva. is essential to Invergordon, it's central to this town. There are so many people who work here, so many families who worked here. You have generations of people working in the distillery. Um, when I grew up going to the academy, this place was right beside where I was educated and uh, it was always part of what I was looking at. Um, so, and I honestly never thought I would work here, uh, and I feel honoured to work here. Uh, I feel privileged to work here. It's um, it's an exciting industry for a woman. There are lots of opportunities, lots more opportunities than there were when I started working here. Um, you get more women in production. There are more women managers. All the jobs for women aren't just office based. They're not cleaning. They're not canteens. We've got women in warehousing, women in supply chain, women in bottling, women in production, women in 
engineering, women in electronics, women in planning, there's environmental side, there are so many aspects to the whisky industry that are great to get involved in. It's not just production, it's not just milling, it's not just maturing. Uh, it's, it's a huge and varied industry. I you know, would travel quite a lot between where I come from, which is Tain, which is 12 miles up the road, and Inverness, and come by train. Uh, and there's not an awful lot to see when you come through Invergordon. But I always looked at this wall in particular and thought it needs something. Um, and I've been doing uh, street art murals for probably about 13, 14 years now. Um, so I would say I'm one of probably two or three people in the Highlands who do street art. So the idea behind this was very much a blank canvas and a Callum from the distillery here kind of got in touch with me and said, right, can you do something for us? Um, so we looked at incorporating lots of different ideas. So obviously we have the two lions, uh, which represents the White and Mackay brand. Um, we also wanted to integrate something of the the bings, I suppose, this idea of stacked barrels, which was something else that was quite iconic when you would come through here. Um, so then we're kind of using some of the brand colours as part of that, so we're using blacks and greys and um, some of the golds as well. Uh, and then obviously the name itself, in regarding Distillery, and we've, we've tried to replicate what is actually on the 60th edition uh, bottle as well. Um, and there will be a little paper on one of these doors. I guess it's because you don't really get a sense of the scale of this. Um, it is very big. It's possibly the largest mural in Scotland. Um, it's what, 80 metres long by 10 metres high. So an awful lot of paint goes into this. Um, but it's been great fun. We've been really fortunate with the weather. Um, it's good being working with a with a team of guys from around Scotland, uh, guys that are good mates and we've worked together on lots of projects together so I'm very grateful to Shane and the team here giving us the opportunity to do this and we hope that it's something that will bring some joy to the folks who work here and also people who are passing by on the train.
Well, my name's Tom Bruce Gardine. I'm a whiskey writer and I actually know Invergordon reasonably well because I got commissioned to do a short history for the company on Invergordon. But it's my first time here because thanks to the pandemic, I never was allowed to come. So this is really exciting for me to be here. And I got asked earlier, you know, is Invergordon known Why, more widely in the whiskey industry? Sadly not. But I think it's a bit of a sleeping giant, I'd say. It did briefly poke its head above the um, parapet um, when it launched uh, uh, an Invergordon 10 year old. Fantastic whiskey uh, back in the 90s, 80, uh, 1990s. And uh, sadly, they didn't really give it enough time, and they, maybe, maybe the company were a bit ahead of the times, and they pulled it. The single malt swept in. But now could be the right moment, I think, to try again with Invergordon Grain, because if it's well aged and the right cast, it's a bloody good whiskey. <laughs> Band, you're locked in the story of the Invergordon. What are you kind of silly pipe? Band! Woo!